everyone. Today we are going to set up and assess a basic model in ANSYS Rocky using the supplied geometry files. Let's begin. We began with a description of our model to better understand what the simulation includes. Now define the physics involved. Some of the options are kept as default. Import the geometry files according to the instructions. Notice that the geometry is made of several components. You can use the pan, rotation and zoom controls with your mouse. In this step, we generate the surface for particle release. We will define this surface as the inlet boundary condition later. We can adjust the transparency of all components in the geometry to improve visualization. Now it's time to create the motion frames. Two translations will be applied. One for the feed conveyor and another for the receiving conveyor. Here you see the material properties. We will work with the default values. Once we define the material properties, we need to assign them to each geometry. Next, we need to define the properties for particle interactions particles with particles, particles with the conveyors, and particles with the walls. Here we create the particle shape and size. Finally, we can visualize the particles based on the setup. Now define the inlet boundary condition. Select the rectangle created previously and type the inlet mass flow rate. Also, you can specify the range of time to apply this boundary condition during the simulation. The final step is the solver setup. We specify the total simulation time, the time step and the number of cores or the GPU to process the solution.
it's time to get some results. Let's begin with the particle flow colored by velocity or the residence time. Use the play button to run the animation, or you can select a specific instant of time from the list. Besides particle visualization, we can obtain quantitative information. First, let's plot the number of particles released from the inlet and those exiting the domain. Second, let's create a plot of the particle distribution on the lower conveyor. Are the particles distributed evenly across the entire surface? To achieve this plot, we need to create a region of study. Then, create two planes with different normal vectors to split this region in equal parts. Follow the procedure to accomplish this. Now create the two planes I mentioned before. A group of particles will have different colors, but the graph will show the imbalance. Go to the window menu and select multi-time plot. Drag and drop particle mass onto the plot for both planes. The final step is to create a video. Organize the visualization of the results you want to show and adjust the position of the geometry in the window. Essentially, you must select the frames from the set of transient results. Click on the icon to save the file. You will be able to play the video at the end. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.